This is a quick tutorial that covers the process of adding sound to stick motion animations. I'll start by opening a short animation that I created earlier. This animation only contains 33 frames and was animated at only 5 frames per second. It looks a little jerky in the preview, but with the addition of an extra 5 tweens per frame, it should look really smooth in the final exported video. In stick motion, sound can be added to frames or to figures within frames. To start with, let's take a look at adding a sound to a frame. Press the button at the top of the screen with the loudspeaker on it and select Add Audio to Frame from the popover menu. Stick motion comes with a large selection of sounds for you to use. These are divided into a number of categories that can be selected at the top of the sounds popover. Press the play button next to any given sound to listen to it. Long sounds may be terminated by pressing the stop button at the bottom of the popover. You can record your own sounds by pressing the red button with the microphone on it. Stick motion will count down from three, upon which recording will commence. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Please note that I tap the microphone button again to stop recording. Testing, testing, one, two, three. By default, Stick Motion will name each recording with a time and date stamp. To change the name, tap where the keys are shown. Imported or recorded sounds may be moved into other categories. To do that, slide the switch at the bottom of the popover to the on position. Tap on the sound that you wish to move and then select the destination category. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This process may then be repeated until the switch is turned off again. To delete one of your sounds, press the red button with the minus symbol. You will notice some numbers next to each sound. The first is the duration of the sound, measured in seconds. The numbers in the brackets indicate the range of frames that the sound will be heard based upon the current frame rate. So let's start by adding some sounds to this animation. I'll begin by selecting the second frame. That's when the alien starts to beam down. Next, I'll press the loudspeaker button and then choose Add Audio to Frame. Stick motion just happens to come with the sound I require. It can be found in the sci-fi category. I'll tap on it to add it to my frame. Now. A given frame can only have one sound assigned to it, so if you need to start multiple sounds at a given frame, add them to your figures instead. Whenever a frame has been assigned a sound, you will see a small blue music symbol in the film strip. Tap on the symbol to bring up some additional options. Here you can preview the sound, change its volume, and set the number of times the sound will repeat before it stops. You can also tell Stick Motion to stop the sound at a given frame. In this case, I will tell Stick Motion to stop the sound once the alien has finished beaming down. Let's play the preview quickly to see how we're progressing. Next, I'd like to have the alien say something, so I'll quickly scrub through the animation using the slider at the bottom of the screen to select the frame at which you should start talking. To add a sound to a figure, start by tapping on the figure. Then select Add Audio to Figure from the Audio Options popover. Because this figure has a mouth that supports automatic lip syncing, you will see additional options in the sound popover. Let me select a recording that I made earlier. You can preview the sound and see what the alien's mouth will look like when lip syncing by turning the Lip Sync This Sound switch on and pressing the play button. I come in peace. Please note that sounds can be added to figures with or without automatic lip syncing. So if you want a figure's mouth to move, always turn the lip sync this sound switch on before tapping on the sound to add it to your figure. Please also note that mouth movements will not be shown during previews. I come in peace. <laughs> Finally, I'd like the dog to bark, so I'll start by selecting the frame for that. If you look closely, 
you'll see that I've added a mouth as a figure over the top of the dog's picture. Just as I demonstrated earlier, I'll add a sound to that figure by tapping on it and then selecting Add Audio to Figure from the Audio Options popover. As I did before, I'll find an appropriate sound, turn the lip sync this sound switch on, and then tap on the sound to add it to my figure. So now if I run the preview, all of my sounds should be present. I come in peace. I come in peace. You'll notice that when a sound is added to a figure, a little blue speech bubble symbol appears in the film strip. To see which figure in that frame has a sound associated with it, hold your finger down on the symbol. To bring up the additional options for that sound, start by tapping on the figure's anchor point to select it, and then tap again to bring up the figure options overlay. Where a figure has a sound associated with it for the given frame, a speech bubble button will be displayed. Press the button to open the sound options. Please note that lip synced sounds may not be repeated. Let's now see what the final animation looks and sounds like. I'll output the animation as a video with five tweens to produce a much smoother result. Because I'm using an older iPad 2, stick motion can only produce videos up to a resolution of 1024 by 576. On Retina iPads, stick motion can produce video in full HD. I come in peace. 